a busy year in college basketball and we're here to break down the end the accolades on the no pulp webisode edition this week he's ben shulman and i'm brian klein happy to be with you now ben it all comes down to this the, the accolades that we're really looking at here is player of the year coach of the year we'll start with player of the year and for me i think this is an easy decision it's got to be Oscar Sheebley from Kentucky. I mean, the fact that we're looking at this guy's scoring numbers, 17 and 61%, and we haven't even talked about the fact that he's grabbing 15 rebounds per game. There was a game this year where he held in 23 defensive rebounds. Not even his total, 23 defensive rebounds. The mix between scoring and rebounding is only really touched on by Kofi Coburn, but in my opinion, Sheboy surpasses Coburn. What do you think, Brad? I, I can't believe that you're saying Kofi Coburn only touches on scoring and rebounding here. He is 11th in points per game nationally, not to mention he's top 10 in rebounds per game. I mean, that is insane. I, look, they're both similar players. They're big, they use their size, and the offensive rebound put back is a play that's as old as time, but Kofi Coburn has, he's really mastered that craft. Now, we go to coach of the year now, and for me, I'm going to start. It's got to be Ed Cooley. I'm going to start, I'm going to finish it, because Ed Cooley and what he's done with Providence Unbelievable, 11 wins by two possessions or just in overtime. Providence right now is the team of destiny, but it's not even destiny, it's skill, and it's Ed Cooley's skill. Ed Cooley's done a great job, no slight to him. I, I have to go here with Jim Laranega, and part of it has to do with preseason expectations versus the actualization of everything they have on that roster. It was a team picked 12th in the ACC preseason that is now one of the top teams and has a chance to make a big run. I like Laranaga. I get it. Hey, that's a good pick, and I feel like there are actually pretty similar picks, yeah. but Laranaga doesn't have the close wins. He does have the comeback wins. 18 points over Syracuse twice as well. That's it for the webisode edition of No Pulp this week, but we've got a full episode for you this week on OTN. Also check out our TikTok underscore Citrus TV underscore.